Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't for And this is just a sad day for I hate having to do stories when somebody passed away Especially when somebody didn't really get a chance to live their full potential, man Because he spent about a good 10 to 12 in jail Came home and picked up where he left off And he had some success Most definitely had a buzz around his name um, And the, the person I'm talking about is T-Slick, man He unfortunately lost his life uh, last night Right now his rumors going around that he was shot And I, I can't confirm that, so I don't want to do that It's going to be follow-up when I give y'all the update um, but there's only a few options, man. You know, when a person this young, it's either drugs or some type of gang violence. You know, natural causes can happen for sure if we don't know the uh, medical conditions. It's just a few options that we could look at, but it's not even something you should dwell on. The main thing of the story that I want us to focus on is how jail sometimes preserve these gang members. If you really think about it, some people that you know that came home after doing a five-year bid and ended up getting caught up in some shit, and they unfortunately lose their life. We just seen it time and time again with multiple people from the drill culture where they come home after doing a bid and they lose their life. You can even just expand that shit to the streets are the streets worldwide, man. The streets of USA, it don't matter who you is. Once you go, you get down, you do that little time, folk. Usually, you come home and it's just like. The countdown begins, folks, either for reincarceration or losing your life. Um, I know Sosa going to be hurt behind this shit um, because of the rumor has it that T-Slick went to jail for Chief Keith on some. Y'all remember that when Biggie and his homie, I think D-Nice, I think D-Nice is somebody took the charge for Biggie, folks, on some type of shit like that. And so it's just unfortunate, bro, because now you got to think about it. He was really rapping capital hard as fuck because Doo-Wop don't be really trying to rap no more. He dropped the album. He had a decent song with Uzi, but Slick was the one still trying to keep it going, gang. And he lost his life, folks. And the, the the worst part I can say about this shit is that he got kids, gang. When he had his kids, oh, it was D-Rock. That was his name in that motherfucking movie. But he got kids, gang. And seeing anybody grow up without their father, folks, that's, that's some fucked up shit. That's some fucked up shit. When I seen FBG Duck's son at his par birthday party with a cutout of his dad, folks, it's like Shorty, they, they had to wipe away his tears to take that picture, gang. And that hurt my heart for Shorty, man. And I'd be feeling the same way about all these people, kids. When they got to lose their father. Get in the comment section. Let me know, know what y'all think below. Uh, stay tuned for the follow-up. Follow I will have an update pretty shortly. I'm gone.